spin on the ball to get away from Ramadan, and it's in! 2-1 to Singapore! Against Malaysia is always, always nerve-wracking if you ask me. After we scored, we left about 20 minutes or so and that was the scariest moment for all of us because we were giving our best just to defend for 20 minutes. And when the final whistle blows, we just go down to our knees and thank goodness, you know, everything ends and we actually overcome Malaysia. Everything was big for me and for my parents. The crowd really played a big part. Everyone was shouting. I don't know, there's a lot of names we were called. At the age of seven, I, I just start to kick and that's where I just fall in love with football. The first few players that I, I get to watch was Fandi Ahmad, you know. Okay. When I was younger, my parents, they were worried. Lah. My father was like, I'm going to cut your boots, I'm going to cut the, the soccer ball and everything. I keep on pushing and pushing and pushing and it's not about proving them wrong, but I'm proving myself that I can do this, you know. I'm very playful actually, very naughty, yes. Example, like tomorrow there's a friendly game in the morning. My parents don't allow me to play. I'll just like, you know, sneak out from my house. The school gate will always lock on the weekends. That doesn't stop us, actually. We actually climb over the gate. Come to think of it, today, hey, I had cerebral palsy and I actually climb over the gate. Just because of football. Last time football was a bit different. I mean, basically we don't have equipment. We were training under multi-purpose hall. I'm wearing just a school shoe. Kozai has been fantastic. I've been working with him almost a decade really. Um, he really helped us a lot. Being confident, believe in ourselves. Uh, he even asked how's work, you know, how school. Not just a father figure, he even sometimes acts like a nutritionist. I think he, he plays many roles. Lah. Like few months before APG itself, my knee injury on the right side. Coach Zai, the nutritionist, the uh, sports trainers, even sports science actually really helped me to recover on time. Football means life to me because it improves my coordination, movement and sometimes you have this disability, you might be reserved. Uh, towards yourself, but I think football really helped me a lot to actually express myself, believing in yourself, especially when I, I was the captain, the leadership, responsibilities, it's all in, in teamwork. We have to work with each other, understanding each other, bit on and off the pitch. I'm um, now be confident to actually go out there and you, you dare to face the reality. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do without football. I think it's time <laughs> for someone to take up this role. And I'm really, really sure that he lead the team very well. All of us are actually looking forward to next APG. It's, it's, a, it's always a joy, you know, working with our boys. Because uh, you see, even today, you know, rainy condition, they're all here you know, looking to train together. And, you know, when they come up with uh, such a response, uh, they show such commitment. This just inspires you, they inspire you. Another APG, it's another big challenge for us. It's going to be harder for us this time. Uh, Neighbouring countries have blessed with more talents, more players. We are up for the challenge, you know. We, we are not chickening out, we are up for the challenge. Without the challenge, we won't actually push ourselves. So I, I believe with such challenge, will make us give our best. We are ready for chaos.